and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can insert and use the box and whisker plot in Microsoft Excel. From this plot, you can get the first quartile, the third quartile, the minimum, the maximum, the median, and the mean of a certain data set. And now let's go and see how we can do that. First of all, I have this data set and I will select it, then I will go into insert. And from here, in the chart section, I will insert statistics chart, and you can see here the box and whisker. So, first of all, this is my plot. The line here in the middle represents the median. The median is the middle of my data. So if you can see, I have seven inputs, and the middle one of them is nine, because there are three above it and three below it. Also, the mean is the average of this data, and if you get the average of this data set, it will be number 9 also, which is represented by the X here. In this case, the median and the mean are both the same number, that's why they are above each other. Now, the lower line of the box represents the first quartile. So, the first quartile is the middle of the data set below the median. So if we take 3, 5, and 6, what's the median of them? It's the 5. So you can see here, the lower line of the box is 5. Also the same for the upper line. If we take the data which is higher than the median, 11, 13, and 16, what's the middle of them? It's 13. So that's the upper line of the box here, which is 13. Now for the whisker, the lower one is 3 which is the minimum of my data, and the upper one is 16, which is the maximum of my data. Now in the second case, I have another data set. I will also select it and create a box and whisker chart. If you notice, now we have an outlier, which is this point, the 35. First of all, let's explain the data. We have the median, which is the middle line in the box, and it's 8, because you can see there are 5 numbers before it and 5 numbers after it. The x represents the mean, which is the average, and it's 10.18. The lower uh, of the box is number 2, because if we take these 5 numbers, the middle of them is 2 which is the lower line of the box. The higher line of the box, if we take these five points, the middle of them is 15, and that's the upper part of the box. The minimum is 1, and the maximum is 18. Knowing that, in this case, we are ignoring the maximum, which is 35, because it's an outlier. But why it was considered an outlier? In order to know if a number will be an outlier or not, we need to calculate the interquartile range, IQR. The interquartile range is the third percentile minus the first percentile. So in my case, it is 15 minus 2, which is 13. Now a number is considered an outlier if it exceeds 1.5 times IQR. So for the lower range, the below outlier equals the Q1 minus the IQR times 1.5. So it's minus 17.5, which means any point which is lower than minus 17.5 will be considered as an outlier. For the above outlier, it will be the Q3 plus IQR times 1.5, which is 34.5. So any point above the 34.5 will be considered an outlier. Now knowing that, let's see what happens if we change the 35 into 34. 
Now you can see it's included in the box and whisker plot. Now in previous cases we were talking about an odd number of data sets. In this case we have an even number, we have 8 numbers. So it's more challenging to find the first quartile, the uh, median and the third quartile. First of all let's get the plot. Now since my dataset is an even number, you can see that for example my Q3 is 14.25, my Q1 is 4.25, so I cannot find it directly from the data set. So how can I get this data? Well, there's a function in Excel which can calculate all this. I want to get the Q1, the Q2, which is also the median, the Q3, I can also get the average, min, and max. So using functions I can get all the data that I need. For the first quartile I will type equals quartile.exe. I will select the array. Then I will select comma and I will type the quartile that I need. So if I type 1 it will, I will get the first quartile which is the lower line of the box. If I type 2 I will get the median which is the middle line of the box. If I type 3 I will get the upper line of the box. So in this case we want Q1. So I will type 1. So the Q1 is 4.25 as we saw previously on the line here. Now for Q2 equals quartile.exe I will select the data, I will press 2, and my median is 9. For third quartile, also same thing, select the array, I will type 3. And my third quartile is 14.25. The average or the mean equals average. And it's 9.375. It will be the same value as the x here. And you can see it. Now the minimum equals min. And I will select my data set. So my minimum is 2, which is the lowest whisker. The maximum equals max. Select the array. And it's 19, which is the upper whisker. And that's all for the box and whisker plot. I hope this video was helpful for you to let you know how to insert the box and whisker, how to get the data out of it, and how to use also functions when you have an even number of data, like the first quartile, the third quartile, median, mean, minimum, and maximum. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video.